everyone, so today we have the new Duotone unit. This is the six and a half metre version. Um, we're at Western Port Yacht Club. It's blowing about maybe 15 knots. And um, yeah, it's gonna look, looks like a good day to get out in the water. We've, um, this will be my second session on the unit. Um, we had out in some decent waves and uh, had a good chance to, uh, to test the rigid handles, um, which is sort of a, the unique uh, feature of, of this wing. Um, yeah, they're, they're definitely different. Um, gives the wing a very stiff and rigid feel and you feel like you've got a lot of direct control. Um, but as I said, only, only had one session so far, so we will uh, confirm those, those feelings today and uh, I'll probably put together a little bit of, uh, of feedback in the, uh, the onboard footage to come. I'm gonna take the GoPro out and uh, yeah, looks like a great day for it. So the GoPro didn't play the game, but Gav managed to get some good shots from the beach. So first impressions of the new Duotone unit. This thing is a solid next generation wing. Like most of the recently released wings, this one showcases plenty of canopy tension and a stiffer frame. But the biggest update is the addition of the rigid handles and they are rigid. I have been riding the F1 Strike mainly, so my first impressions are relative to that. So relative to the Strike V1, it feels a little bit stiffer. This seems to make it a bit more technical to pump. Um, it's also a little bit heavier than the Strike. Uh, this is potentially due to the extra weight of the rigid handles. Um, the Strike is probably one of the lightest wings on the market though, so it sets, sets the standard pretty high. Um, the unit felt maneuverable, especially with the rigid handles. Uh, it reminded me of my time on the Duotone Echo with the rigid boom. Although when testing the unit, I noticed the rigid handles limited the hand positions due to not spanning the full quarter of the wing. Personally for me, I seem to ride all wings with my front hand as far back as I can, and this was no different with the unit. The downside of this was my hand would be up against the upright of the rigid handle and partially off the gripped part of the handle at times. Um, I assume I would get used to this if I rode the wing more, but it's definitely something noticeable coming from a wing with long soft handles where your hands naturally find the right position. The rigid handles definitely have lots of positives though. Um, you'll have direct and fast control and you'll find it easier to manipulate the wing through jibes and tacks as you can probably see in some of these videos. Um, another thing we noticed was the span of the unit was almost identical to the 7 meter strike CWC. So I felt at home riding it even with some chop as I've spent a lot of time on the CWC. Um, so newcomers to higher aspect wings and larger span wings might find this challenging to begin with, but you will quickly become accustomed to the span. The last performance thing we noticed was the wing flagged out reasonably well, almost as well as the Strike V1, but would drop a little earlier when you caught up to your apparent or when the breeze wasn't strong enough. It flies very stable as long as you keep enough breeze in the wing and keep it flagged out in the correct position. Overall, the unit is a great wing. It is rigid and responsive, it is balanced well and flies stable for wave riding. We're looking forward to testing the unit more um, across many different conditions and potentially in a racing environment as well. So stay tuned for more videos. And don't forget to check out the OTB Marine web store for more details on availability and the full range of the best quality wing foiling gear on the market.